Hey ho, it's uh, Paul Liano here from Tangmere Dental Care, uh, principal dentist uh, near Chichester. See, I'm at home at the moment, I'm in my civvies, and uh, we have got the Winix, uh, the Air Purifier Winix Zero Pro. Uh, I must confess, uh, my enthusiasm got uh, the better of me, as I've already unboxed this, as you can see. Um, I've also got rid of the packing and uh, I did uh, take the plastic off the filters but it's uh, fresh in my mind so I'm going to go over it with you uh, today. Um, a bit of background here. I, I almost pulled trigger on getting an alternative unit uh, which is the uh, Radicate Virus Killer VK401 um, but uh, I need at least three of these units and it's just so expensive and especially as we actually don't have any guidance on what is actually effective and what we actually need um, to, to be safe. Anyway, I found these units, the Winix units, these use plasma wave technology to kill the viruses and as far as we know it's all microorganisms. You know, it's the usual 99.99% .99 of all known germs. It does this without um, generating any ozone. And I don't know if you know, but ground level generated ozone is considered to be a bad thing, a pollutant that is harmful to us. It's the ozone in the upper atmosphere that is good ozone and protects us from uh, all sorts of hazards, basically from outer space. Uh, anyway, uh, there's the, the Winix Zero Pro, along with the Radicate unit, I believe are both made in Korea and both have similar technology using an electric charge to produce hydroxyls, a powerful oxidizing agent that kills viruses in a single pass of the air. Winix calls it um, plasma wave technology. Um, I think the Radic 8 calls it uh, a reactor cell. Anyway, let's have a little look at the unit itself. So it comes obviously in a nice box and on there it does actually say one of the things that I actually found really attractive on this unit, I, I mean obviously the other units may well have the same sort of thing, but it's this uh, air quality indicator. So I'll just take this out, nice little handles at the side, not too heavy, it's a, a reasonable unit, obviously like a, a sort of a small fan heater up there, pop the box over to the side. Spin that round so you can see it. And uh, when this is in the box, obviously it had the usual sort of polystyrene and plastic. And then on the inside here, this just literally uh, comes forwards. I believe, there we go. And we have the uh, filters here, just a pre-filter. There's a couple of clips just here, pull forwards. Um, this one I believe you hoover uh, every couple of weeks I believe. Then these are the replaceable filters, uh, carbon filter. This uh, true HEPA filter, now this has got a plastic surround uh, with uh, a neoprene seal around the outside and, uh, and this looks like it's uh, more up to the job. It's not cardboard or, or something else horrid. On the inside then we have the fan where the plasma wave is. Um, and that's the thing that kills the bugs. Of course, again, on this unit, um, don't know if you saw the unboxing of the vac station, um, but uh, I was a bit concerned that the killing of the bugs was done beyond the filters, and of course, it's the same in this one. Um, so, of course, you're gonna have to be very careful changing these filters, potentially, um, if, well, we don't know how long coronavirus lives on the surface, not really, not on so-called fomites. Uh, you know, fabric surfaces. Um, so we have to treat changing the filters as a potential hazard. So these were actually covered in plastic and that of course needs to be removed. Um, let's pop this back on. So there's a couple of little clips at the base that you just slot in and that easily clips up. Right, okay. So the uh, instructions here show that uh, we have and I'll, uh, I'll pick up the camera in a moment and we've got uh, the instructions regarding the filters, um, the control panel, and I'll go through those in just a second. Positioning in terms of how far from the walls it's got to go. 
uh, then installing the filters, how often they need to be changed. There is actually on here a check filter uh, button, which, uh, no, light, uh, which actually uh, says when that needs to be changed, and I believe that's every six to nine months. About auto and sleep, manual mode, timer and plasma wave, child lock and air quality, and filter care. Uh, we've got a lot on the filter care there. And the particle sensor. The particle sensor, if we look around the side here, we have got a little door, and apparently it's uh, a lens there that uh, there's air drawn in and it uses uh, light to actually measure the particulates. And that's what I really like about this unit, having had it on before, and I'll plug it in in just a moment, is this illumination that tells you the air quality. Okay, that's going through its little tinkle. And we can see here that oh, it's gone through the colors. Um, red is poor air quality. Um, uh, orange is, uh, what was it say, fair. Green is average and blue is good. Now, um, I did take it to the surgery and with the other ventilation system that we got, it was always on blue and apparently this is blue now. Um, I am gonna be doing tests using a particulate meter to actually measure the amount of particles that there are in the air. And of course, um, testing this is going to be a subject of a future video. Um, obviously, uh, you want to know about the unit. Uh, so I'll just uh, pick up the camera so you can see it. And um, here we have uh, the smart sensor, which is where it draws in the um, air to check the quality, check a filter, so as I said every six to nine months. Little hole here with the reset button, um, poke a paper clip in there for five seconds uh, after a, uh, a filter change, just turn it on and off. Mode here which is where we change uh, between um, auto and there is a turbo mode which is rather good. Plasma wave which uh, obviously you want, well I want on all the time to actually kill all the viruses. Uh, a timer uh, mode a uh, timer button here I won't use and a child lock button there again that I won't use. I got this uh, from JD Dental based near me in Bognor Regis. Uh, I'll put a link to them below. Uh, currently they're priced at £320 plus VAT uh, but that does come with uh, a spare set of filters which uh, are coming in at uh, £70 uh, each and of course that's actually included so that makes it quite a good deal at the moment so for me I mean I did almost pull the trigger on getting the Radic 8 virus killer units but at £1,200 each they were just a little bit too expensive I need um, uh, I needed something that I can affordably combine with uh, something else uh, and uh, I'm going to be testing two um, LEVs where uh, we can actually put uh, suction in front of the face and uh, you know I, I personally believe that that's the thing that's going to be a game changer here. I'll be testing two of those, the VAC station from 18th supplied by UK uh, Dentistry. Um, I've done an unboxing on that um, and also the dental air uh, unit designed and part manufactured and supplied through a local firm in the UK called Vodex Limited. So if you want to see these, um, I'll get them done as soon as I've got them tested along with this unit here. Uh, as normal YouTube videos, hit uh, subscribe and uh, the notification bell. So uh, thank you for watching and until the next one.